Stage six of the Tour de Suisse was due to take the riders up into the mountains. In the end, it did. However, with 29 riders less than initially planned. COVID-19 causing the withdrawal of three complete teams, Bahrain, UAE and Alpacine having to go home. Also, the race leader, Alexander Vlasov, unable to take on this wonderful route, taking up two huge climbs, both all category, finishing on Morsalp after 177 kilometres. Once the race did get underway, 12 riders got up the road. Fausto Masnada, the best placed in the general classification, but all the way down at 9 minutes and 4 seconds. He wasn't a danger, and Israel Premier Tech had no intention of chasing him down with Jakob Fulsang, the new leader. Quinn Simmons took the maximum points over the gigantic Newfoundland pass. That meant that he would almost secure the King of the Mountains jersey with two and a half days still to go. Israel Premier Tech were just controlling the gap, trying to make sure that nobody could threaten Fulsang's lead but Garant Thomas sat in second place at a single second. When it came to the intermediate sprints, the first was won by Michael Matthews. Up there in the breakaway with Andrea Pasqualon. Both sprinters battling it out. Matthews would take the second sprint and move into the points classification lead. And once we got onto the final climb, almost 18 kilometers long, there was a quick sort out of the strongest legs. Masdada, the man to really push the pace from the bottom. Behind, Ineos Grenadiers were using up the few resources they had. Tom Pidcock, one of the 29 who couldn't start due to COVID-19. Quinn Simmons was dropped with 11.2 kilometers to go, but he keep working at it behind. Masnada and Denz out the front. In the end, there'd be four up the top as Champoussin and Errada came back. Schachmann attacking out of the peloton, but not really going very far. Jakob Fulsang chasing him right down. That meant that Dani Martinez would do a good job. And at the head of the race, the four together would look and look at each other. Masnada, the first to attack again with three kilometers to go. But once more, he couldn't get rid of anybody. And with 400 meters to go, Quinn Simmons was back. It almost looked like he was going to take the stage. Ahead inside the final 100 meters, then Jean Poussin came around. The look out for Dents in the black, the big ruler at the top of a all category mountain and winning it on the photo finish. A 28-year-old from Germany taking his first ever World Tour success. And I think he looked a little pleased about it. Behind Garrett, Thomas tried to force a split. A little bit of a sprint on the way in. But Igita closed the gap. And there would be no change in the top two, at least, with Thomas still trailing Jakob Fulsang by a single second. Dens then beating Jean Poussin, Errada, Simmons and Masnada. Pacher and Talman with combative rides, then the big bunch. A lot of calories expended by Nico Dens. A big opportunity with that cake to take them back. But who's going to take the cake in the GC? Jakob Fulsang still one second ahead of Garrett Thomas. Sergio Gita up to third at 10. It's very, very tight at the top. But the Dane who was second last year is first at the moment with two stages to go. There'll be plenty of anxiety overnight to see what might happen with the COVID situation again. But if all's well, they'll take on some big, big passes again. They'll be heading up into Liechtenstein this time. Le Lucmanier Pass is the longest climb of this particular Tour de Suisse. But another all-category finish in Malbun after 194.6 kilometers. Still all to play for. It's still very close. We hope for drama on the bike this time. Less off it. Let's see how it goes heading into stage seven of the Tour de Suisse. You can watch it on GCN Plus and Discovery Plus.